All right, the co-main event is upon us. Let us get to the tail of the tape for this rematch four years in the making. Edson Barboza, 33. Paul Felder is now 35. Both fighters 5 foot 11 inches tall. Barboza will enjoy a pronounced reach advantage. All right, now to get to the introductions for the co-main. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. This fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 16 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA, presenting the number 10 ranked lightweight contender in the world, Paul, the Irish Dragon, Felder! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a striker holding a professional record, 20 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds, fighting and a Nova Freiburg, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the number seven ranked lightweight contender in the world, Edson Junior Barbosa. And the action begins. Our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for the co-main event. And the beautiful Carly Baker is here. Paul Ready. Felder, Ready. undefeated as a lightweight since training under Duke Rufus. He is in the blue trunks. Edson Barboza is in yellow. Early spinning attack from Paul Felder. Some late money coming in on Felder. So this fight closing close to a pick -em in a lot of spots in Las Vegas and beyond. Edson Barboza with an early leg kick. And already, I mean, two adjustments to the cap kick is just fire the, the spinning back fist. You don't even see that. You usually just eat it, and then that's it. But he's eating it and coming forward, and that's the difference already, but the kicks of Barbosa are just so fast already. Felder knew these cap kicks were coming. We talked about it. So I'll be curious to see if he can get the timing on it, keep that shin turned out, not eat too many of those cap kicks. Good left hand from Paul Felder, moving forward with his patented angry face on fight night. Loaded up on that right hand, unable to land Look for an elbow walking into the clinch. Very, very hard early. <laughs> Both fighters with a lot of strength in these clinch situations. Watch out for those short Paul Felder elbows. Now you see him think about the takedown. Barboza wise to it. And I know in talking to Barboza's jiu-jitsu coach, Bahumpa, they welcome the takedown here tonight. If it comes, they've been working hard on it. On a lot of submission offense. And I think that Felder got cut. I've seen some blood from someone, I'm not sure who yet. His nose, not a cut. So we keep an eye on the nose of Paul Felder as he rips the body there, and Barboza counters over the top. So swelling around that right eye of Edson Barboza already. Man, these guys are swinging with fight ending intentions here, about two minutes gone in round one. There's that calf kick from Felder, a huge weapon for him in his last win against James Vick back in February. And he said he needed to eat some shots to keep the pressure going like we're seeing right here. He said Barbosa doesn't like the pressure, so even if I eat some early, I gotta keep pressure forward. It's a smart game plan, but right now, Barbosa's speed is just incredible. Kick to the body for Edson Barboza. Checks the second one beautifully. That'll make you second guess those kicks. They're already hit each other so hard. Now Felder dealing with some blood in his eye. Maybe a cut on the hairline. And the big difference so far, too, is that Felder's kind of loading on his strikes really to throw really, really hard. And is not moving at all. Felder acknowledging that that cut was courtesy of a headbutt. 
Headbutts are not a game. I mean, when you eat one of those, and these guys respect each other, so they don't want to win off an illegal headbutt, but. Felder had a fight stopped due to a cut against Francisco Trinaldo back in 2016. Huh? There's the headbutt. Uh, fine for fighting now, yeah, okay. Felder was, mm -hmm. was leading in with the head, and there's the clash. Certainly inadvertent. A lot of respect between these two guys. They ended up briefly sparring partners after their first encounter. The whole time Paul Felder felt like he was eventually going to probably fight Exit again, and here we are. Goodness, that left hook is heavy for Barbosa. He's just got the speed advantage in this first round. Felder to maybe take away that speed advantage of Barboza if he could get a takedown, tire him out early in the fight. Perhaps that could change the complexion of things. Well, that's how we see Barbosa beat pretty much the main way. I mean, it's not like anybody's just out striking him. So they usually mix in the takedowns and then land the big punches. But toe to toe, it's hard to hard to out kickbox in that first round. That, that's hard. That's like a bat. Very, very hard, fast punches and kicks. One minute now to go round one. Some early adversity for Paul Felder, at least in terms of the blood. We got a headbutt and a busted nose from a jab. Barbosa landed a jab early that busted uh, Felder's nose. And the headbutt cut him on the right side. But not a bad idea for Felder to sort of protest loudly for everyone to hear that it was a headbutt and make the judges aware. Agreed. Nice right hand. Yeah. That got Barbosa's attention, although he shook it off. And, and Felder said, I know I'm going to have to eat some shots in the first, and I'm going to have to walk through them. And that's what we saw Fajeda do, and that's what he's doing right now. He's having to walk forward, eat, weather the storm, and then get to it. See how he's heading off Barbosa, getting that pressure that he said. He said Barbosa doesn't like the pressure, and we're seeing that. You see Barbosa move more and more. Duke Rufus wanting Paul to continue to press forward, which he does. Nice job by Barbosa to raise the guard. We will follow Paul Felder into his corner. Okay, listen to me, breathe. Water. So, Paul, yeah. you're doing a great job. Blocking. We need to hit back off the block. That's your opportunity. When he hits big, he opens up big. It's close. Uh -huh. All right, but we can take him out if he get busier. Quit looking to do it with one. I need your number. You hit him, you yeah. stumble him, jump on him. Okay? You block the kick, you got to return cover fire. The elbow will be there, the right hand will be there. Chain back a combo, not just one bomb. Do you feel me? And we see here the low kick, the calf kick early was a big weapon just to kind of slow things down and the head butt, that hurts. That's never fun. Can't really stop those sometimes. And right here, this jab, that's what busts the nose. And then another head butt after that jab, that could have hit his nose as well. Body kicks are so fast. They, Rufus wants him to fire back off the strikes for Bosa, but I feel like he's throwing them so quick that it's hard to counter. Nice job by the cut man to clean up the Irish Dragon, Paul Felder. Nice left hand from Felder. He's letting his hands go, and that's where it's going to be key for him, is at the boxing range. How fast those left kicks are. It's incredible. It's amazing how quick he gets his foot off that canvas to the target. I mean, to throw two kicks like that at that speed and not, it, not Felder can't fire back. It's so quick. Barbosa again attacking the body of Paul Felder. Felder's showing how incredibly tough he is moving forward, knowing I gotta keep pressuring, gotta keep Barbosa on the heels, and gotta keep eating these shots until I get him tired. Felder about as tough as it comes, grew up in a hardened Irish Catholic neighborhood environment in South Philly. His older brother Tommy in the building to support him tonight. Easily one of the toughest guys I've ever met, Paul Felder. You don't want to be tough in these fights, but you could definitely use it against Barbosa. And that left hook got Barbosa thinking. Nice double leg. Thinking so much that he landed the takedown. 
Yeah, I mean, this is, you're seeing, this is what I'm talking about, the difference in these guys. You, when was the last time you seen Barbosa time a takedown like that? And it went very nice, too. And he was getting cut with those elbows. And I think that, that that punch really hurt Barbosa. He's recovering right now. Yeah, looks like maybe Barbosa got cut open pretty significantly. Oh, yeah. So one of those elbows from the bottom from Felder, and there's another one for good measure. So Felder trying to stay active off of his back here. The damage that these guys have inflicted on each other already in seven minutes. It's just not a lot of people can handle it, I'll tell you that right now. Well, the expectation was for some blood, plenty of it early. As you hear Duke Rufus, Daniel Vanderlei calling for a tomahawk elbow from Felder. Feet on the hips from Felder to land those elbows. Is something nice arm bar. That's in there. Let's see if our post the crowds it well and if Felder can do something with it. His arms aren't completely locked. It's a tough position to finish it from because you see the space between the elbow. Of Barbosa and Felder's chest, that's what's going to make it hard to finish here, especially slippery. And again, Barbosa thought about grappling him. He's now dealing with a lot of blood in both eyes. Just over two minutes now to go round two. Last time Barbosa secured a takedown against Gilbert Melendez, 2016. And we're seeing the pressure just slow down Barbosa just enough, and Paul Felder's starting to land more. His hands are landing more and more. to be sore tomorrow. These guys are both incredible. It's amazing to watch them fight. I mean, I could watch them fight forever. <laughs> I'm sure they wouldn't like it, though. <laughs> nice counter hook from Barbosa. And it's just, right now, Paul Felder's trying so hard to throw so, so, such big power in his punches that Barbosa's able to hit him on the counter every now and then. Two huge quicker. welts, Dom, behind the right ear of Paul Felder, and another one on the left side. But a nice land to the body there by the Irish Dragon. Slight edge in terms of these significant strikes landed for Paul Bozo, but Paul Felder with the total strike advantage. Less than a minute now to go in the co-main event. That left kick is really fast, and it just keeps landing for Barbosa all night. Felder asked his corner after round one who had won the round. It was close. He's inflicted a lot of damage in the second round. I would say that Felder probably has the advantage with his hands in the boxing range. And Barbosa's doing really well keeping Felder at kick range and utilizing his kicks. Nice double leg timing. Just didn't get his hands clapped. And Barbosa did a good job keeping yeah. his hips underneath it. Great job by the athletic Edson Barbosa to work his way to the fence. We'll see if Felder bails or tries to get the level change here. As we come up on the final 10 seconds of the round. And you know, Felder's fighting an extremely good fight. I need everybody to know that. It's just Barbosa's just edging out with the speed a little bit and just very, very sharp as well. 10 minutes down, technically 25 minutes down between these two. Five to go. Breathe. There we go. Okay, look at me. Okay. Look, so listen to me. I'm here. We got the two rounds. It's two to zero. We can't go to a brawl. He wants the brawl. Right here, you see Barbosa get hurt, and then a nice double leg just... Felder wasn't really ready for that, I don't think. He was coming forward to hurt him, and then that elbow right there cuts Barbosa. Nice right hand by Felder there. And then a right hand return by Barbosa. These guys, that's pretty much the story of the fight. Three, four, five. Why are you going to do any training? You can do this. Huh? Let's go. Let's go, boy. You got it. Five minutes, brother. Come on. Come on. You can do this. Emotional moment there for Duke Rufus. Round three brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. Such a powerful bond developed between those two, Duke Rufus and Paul Felder. 
Huge five minutes in front of these two lightweight warriors now. Edson Barboza in yellow, Paul Felder in blue. The Barboza corner seems to think they have banked two rounds. Could be 1-1, one, one. we'll see. Heavy shots exchanged in the pocket there on both sides. Oh, gets him with the right hand, and I like what they're saying. Say you got to throw combinations. We cannot eat shots and not return. In Felder's corner, and they're exactly right. That's been the difference. Nice right hand of the body. Felder would appear to be the fresher fighter. Barboza still moving very well, though. Well, he's heading him off better now, you're seeing. He's not really following him the same. Now he's heading him off better. lands to the body and you can hear that Felder corner just imploring him to press forward. He does so there. Landed the right and then the left. Oh, nice crack there. Short shot from Paul Felder. How these guys take damage. It's just crazy. They've even some heavy, heavy shots and they just keep going. Nice jab. It's been landing for Felder in this third round. Timing on that right hand off the jab of Felder. Barboza again attacks the body after landing a jab. Nice attack from Felder, punctuated by a big left hand. Those are the combinations that Rufus is asking for. Fire more than one punch, more than two at a time, and he does really well when he throws three punches and more. Oh, back just lands for Barboza, crowd reacts. forward, unable to land with that left hook. Less than three minutes now to go. And you gotta always watch Barbosa too, moving backwards, because he sets up a lot of his techniques, moving back. Spin attacks, spinning back kicks, everything. He almost gets you thinking he's moving back, and then he's so quick off that back leg. He pulls you into his strikes. Nice footwork by Barbosa there. Lands again for Barbosa. Nice jab from Felder. Felder knows he's got to get some real damage and has to drop Barbosa in this third round. Otherwise, it's going to be tough. 61 57 in terms of the significant strikes. Slight edge for Barbosa there. It's close. These guys are going back and forth. And just the, the way that Felder ate that spin attack by spinning back, that those little tiny inches is yeah. what keeping this fight going. That's how sharp these guys are. Left hand over the top is good for Felder. Nice, he's landing the big punches, moving forward. And Duke Rufus' voice is done, but the message remains the same. The command to move forward under two minutes now to go in the co-main event. What a show these guys are putting on. Man, insane. Felder starting to land at a greater clip here with the hands. Barboza has been the more efficient striker statistically tonight. Nice jab from Felder. Yeah, it's his best weapon for sure you know, in this fight, and it's landing hard. Those hurt. And he switches to the hook. Good read. The hands of, of Barbosa, or excuse me, the hands of Felder are beating Barbosa right now in this third. Gotta keep the pressure just like that. Back to the clinch, just over a minute to go. See if Felder goes to those elbows now. I don't know how they're going to score this. There are your significant strikes round by round. Felder with the advantage in round three after a slight edge to Barboza in rounds one and two. And we're talking about three strikes. Oh, they're out striking each other. Two, three strikes. I think it's going to come down to significant strikes landed in this one, and maybe even that takedown of Barbosa. Good defense by Felder here. Last 20 seconds. Paul Felder was the busier man, had a big third round. Late takedown from Barboza, though. And that's a big takedown right there at the end of this round to really seal the deal. 
Felder got back what to his feet. Fight. Insane fight. Insane. These guys are just incredible to me. So Paul Felder and Edson Barboza have now fought each other for 30 minutes. That doesn't account for their sparring sessions together. But a grueling 15-minute affair in the co-main event between Barboza and Phil. That left kick was a huge weapon for Barboza in the very beginning, especially. Nice elbow attempt in the headbutt here really caused a big cut. And what we're seeing here is counter hook by Barbosa and just a little bit of a load of Felder just misses it and then underneath the jab of Felder after he hurts Barbosa, Barbosa gets this nice takedown, very clean. Elbow lands for Felder. And we'll see here the spinning back fist right on the chin. I mean, the, that hurt, you saw that hurt Barbosa a little, you saw a little wobble and nice jab hook all night was switching up for Felder. All right, so here are the significant strike numbers. Very close, of course, in round one and round two. Paul Felder started to pull away in that third and final round. Perhaps it will be enough to have secured the biggest win of his now 13-fight UFC career. Edson Barboza and Paul Felder unable to finish one another despite a lot of effort on both sides tonight. The co-main event goes the full 15. The official decision brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile's knockout coverage and unlimited data with the co-main event scorecards now. Man, if, Fel if Felder wins, Bruce are we going to see a third? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Howie Boo scores the contest 30-27, Barbosa. David Lethaby scores it 29-28, Felder. And Maria Makotova scores at 30, 27 for the winner by split decision. Paul, the Irish Dragon, What a moment for Team Rufus Sport. And the Irish Dragon, Paul Felder, brought to tears tonight after the biggest win of your UFC career. You wanted to get this one back so badly, but you were really in search of a next-level win to put you into lightweight title contention. I know this is a lot to digest right now. Congratulations, buddy. John, I love you, man. Listen, I could be sitting with you guys right now. I'd be a lot hotter than you, believe it or not. I think in here it's better than being in the suit with you and Dominic, but Edson is one of the biggest studs in this division. Can we give it up for Junior Edson Barboza? This guy's an absolute warrior. That could have gone either way. The first time it was close. This guy and I have shared the cage, the training room together twice now in the octagon. Mom, in two days, happy birthday. I love you so much. I had one of the hardest weight cuts of my life on Thursday into Friday, but we made it. I made it for my daughter, Ashley. I love you so much. All you top five guys out there, you can't run no more. Come in here and get some. Gaethje, Tony, Connor, I don't care who you are. I'm only in here to be in here with the best. Otherwise, I'm gonna retire and become a commentator or an actor. I don't have to do this. You don't have to, but you certainly put on a show here tonight, my man. I know how the last eight weeks have been for you day by day, the sacrifices that you've made. Can you put into words what a win like this means in terms of what you proved to yourself against a truly elite UFC-tested lightweight in Edson Barbosa? Listen, it shows exactly what I said I've learned, right? I was able to listen to Duke. He said, you got to start putting volume. I'm cracking him. I see that I'm hurting him, but I'm letting him hit me back. Let me tell you, he hurt me again about five times to the body. The guy hit so hard, but I was able to work through it, look for takedowns. Even though I knew I wasn't probably going to get him, he's very strong. It slowed him down, and that's what I'm going to need to build up and get to the top. How bad is my nose right now, by the way? Is it okay? I think it looks just fine, my man. Congrats on a big one tonight. Safe travels home to Philadelphia. How about it, Abu Dhabi? Your co-main event winner, the Irish Dragon, Paul Felder.